I'm glad to see you today. In our previous discussion, we talked about cardinal and ordinal numbers. For example, in cardinal numbers, we only use counting numbers, while in ordinal numbers, we now know its position. So we know that a cardinal number is a number that tells how many of a thing there are, while an ordinal number tells the position of a certain number. Before we begin and go deeper with our previous discussion, let us first answer the following. There are four mangoes. She got the first place. Well done, kids! Now, we will continue learning about cardinal and ordinal numbers. We already know the cardinal form and the ordinal form of the numbers from 1 to 10. Now, have you ever wondered about the numbers after 10? We will know more about that today. In addition, cardinal numbers does not consist fractions or decimals. It only used for counting. For example, there are six oranges. There are four chickens. While ordinal numbers tells us the position of something in a list, for example, in this picture, the boy got the second place. We already know the numbers from 1 to 10. Now let's see the numbers from 11 to 20. So as you can see in the cardinal form, the numbers from 11 to 20 are only written in counting form. While in ordinal form, we already know if something is in 11th place or in 19th place. Now, we can use it in a sentence if we know if a praise is asking by how many things there are or simply for a certain position. For example, Rita got seven oranges. Rita got the first place. Now, I want you to read and answer the following. Choose which form of each number best fits the blank. You are only given five seconds to answer each sentence. Ready? Get set? Go! Correct! Laura is fifth in line for the competition. Correct! There are 14 bags. Correct! That is the third time I've eaten a snack. Correct! She has 20 coins. Correct! I'm the 11th girl in line for getting a free juice. Well done kids! I know you've learned a lot today. See you on my next video. Bye! That's all for now. Visit my website, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications for more videos. You can also like and follow me on my social media accounts. Continue e-learning with me, your teacher GM. See you in the next video. Bye!